Hi, I'm Chris from Filter King. What we're going to show you today is an unedited version of how to filter your cooking oil microscopically that will give you great consistently fried food all week long for your restaurant. If you care about the quality of your fried food and you care about saving money and extending the life of your cooking oil, then the only way you're going to do that is by using a microscopic oil filtration machine. So let's go right to it. And let's show you right here that we have cooking fryer oil that is very dirty. It's brown as you can see. You can't see through the bottom of that. Uh, it is at 350 degree because our machine filters at 350 degrees because we don't want any downtime to the restaurant. So we will confirm that it's at 350, 300 and climbing, 325. and we're at 350 ready to filter okay the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put our gloves on because you're dealing with hot 350 degree oil and you do not want to do it without these gloves the second thing we want to do is we want to shut off the fire temporarily otherwise we may have a little flash fire you do not turn off the pilot light just put it in the off position counterclockwise and you're pretty much ready to start you open the fryer and it will start to dump the oil in. And as it's dumping the oil in, we're gonna wait till it gets to the bottom of that. And when it gets to the bottom, we're gonna turn it on and we're gonna start the filtration process, which is gonna wash the fryer simultaneously as you polish and filter the oil to a microscopic level in four minutes flat. So we're almost at the end. Come look at all the nice breading and food particles that are on here that degrade the cooking oil. And we're pretty much ready to start. So as I said, the great thing about this machine is that you're gonna use it to filter and wash your fryer simultaneously. So we're gonna rinse out the fryer. The sides. We have a red thermal jacket on this hose so that way it protects you from the heat in case you can touch it so you don't burn yourself. So as it's doing that, what you want to take is this scrubber that we send with, with your fryer. Scrub down the elements. You gotta use the back side. If anything sticks, flip it over on this side to this side. And we also give you one of these right here, which in case your fryer gets clogged because of a lot of debris, then you wanna stick it in here like this, down at the bottom of the hole, and just turn it like this and it will actually loosen any particles that get clogged inside. So let's try to get rid of the rest of this debris from up here. You've got to let this filter for a good four minutes because you want it to go over and over and micro filter and polish that oil. You can see that the oil has already changed color from brown to yellow. And we pretty much rinsed out the fryer really good. All the nooks and crannies on all sides just scrape it against the bottom of the fryer like so so you get every particle 
and let's look at here and see what we caught. We caught a lot of the big breadcrumbs. Now most of your two and a half to three thousand dollar machines that you buy on the internet, this is the only thing that you're going to get out of that oil, which means that it's not going to take out the microscopic particles as you're going to see later underneath what we caught. And unless you take out the saturated uh, fat and the triglycerides and the carbons and the, to a microscopic level, you're never going to truly extend the life of the, and the quality of that oil. And that's what you want to do with a microscopic oil filter machine. So it's been about four minutes right now. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to close the drain and let it filter up. When it finishes filtering all the way to the very top, you're pretty much ready to go on to your next filter and the filtration process is completed. Restaurants typically have doubled the life of their cooking oil, so we feel comfortable in guaranteeing that our machine can actually double and uh, cut your oil cost in half. We've seen restaurants that have even tripled the life of their cooking oil. Okay, come look close. Take a look at that oil. See how it's crystal clear and you can see right through it. You can see the elements again. That's the big difference between using a regular oil filter machine or a microscopic oil filter machine. And when you do this on a daily basis, that's what's gonna give you extended life and great fried food. And we wait until the last drop starts to come out. We're almost at the end. Lift the hose. Make sure you get all the oil out. And we're pretty much done. That's it. Very easy to, to work with. Push of a button. And let's find out what we got on the bottom. And then here inside is where we see all that brown sludge that you end up sticking, that ends up sticking to the food that you end up eating right out of the restaurant. So a true microscopic oil filtration machine is gonna catch both the big breadcrumbs as well as the saturated fat and a lot of the microscopic particles. And then we throw away the filter on a daily basis and we're pretty much done. And that's the beauty of using a microscopic oil filtration machine. Thank you for watching.